when we graph a quadratic equation, a quadratic, yeah, we'll just call it that, an equation, we get a parabola. A parabola is a U-shaped curve. It can go up like that, like a smiley face, or it can go down like that, like a frowny face. A quadratic, of course, to graph it is gonna need two variables. So we've got y equals ax squared plus bx plus c is gonna be our standard quadratic. With a quadratic equation, got a couple of big hints we can see just from looking at this. If A is positive, if A is greater than zero, which is math for positive, the parabola opens up. like so. So positive goes with a smiley face. If A is less than zero, which is math for negative, then the parabola opens downward So it looks like that. The most important point on a parabola is the vertex. So we always have to find the vertex. Uh, the y-intercept is practically a freebie. That one's super, super simple. And then we also typically want to find the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts, recall, are what you get when you let y equal zero. The y-intercept is what you get when you let x equal zero. The y-intercept, if we let x equal zero, then this term goes out. This term goes out when we put zero in for x. And so the y-intercept is always going to be the point zero c. Always. It's a freebie. The x-intercepts are what we get when we replace the y with zero. That's the same as the quadratic formula. So the x-intercepts are going to be negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over two times a. So if we look at a graph that goes something like this, and we know that this point on the x-intercept, on the x-axis, is negative b minus, because that's the one to the left, the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And then this point over here to the right 
would be on the x-axis negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The point in the middle is going to have an x value. This spot on the x-axis is going to be what's halfway between these. Now this is negative b plus this square root over 2a. This is negative b minus the square root over 2a. This is negative b over 2a. This is halfway in between. This is where your vertex will be. So the x value of your vertex is always gonna be negative b over 2a, the quadratic formula without the radical. The y value is the y value that you get when you plug whatever negative b over 2a turns out to be back into the original equation. So in function notation, we write, would write this as the function value of negative b over 2a. And the graph will be symmetric on either side of a vertical line going through negative b over 2a. So how does this work? Suppose we've got y equals x squared minus 4x minus 5. We know that this opens up because A is positive. A is greater than zero. A is gonna be an invisible one. We know the y-intercept is gonna be the point zero, negative five. Because if you put zero in for your x's, you're gonna end up with y equals negative five. So this contains the point zero, negative five. The x value for the vertex is negative b over 2a, which would be a negative of, let's say, a is 1, b is negative 4, c is negative 5. So negative, negative 4 over 2 times the invisible 1 which is positive four over two, which is two. The y value for the vertex is what we get when we plug two into the problem. So that's gonna be two squared minus four times two minus five would be four minus eight minus five which would be four minus eight is a negative four and a negative five would be a negative nine. So the vertex is at the point two, negative nine. The y-intercept, we've got the vertex. Let's see about finding the x-intercepts. So we've got a is one, b is negative four, c is negative five. So the x-intercepts are gonna be x equals the negative of negative four plus or minus the square root of b is negative four squared minus four times one times c is negative five all over two times one. This is gonna be a positive four, plus or minus the square root of 16, negative four squared is positive 16. Let's see, two negatives here will make this a positive. Four times one times five is 20. All over two times one is two 
We've got 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 and 20 is 36 over 2. 4 plus or minus 6 over 2. Let's split that up. So 1x intercept will be 4 plus 6 over 2. The other one will be 4 minus 6 over 2. This one's going to give us 10 over 2 is 5. This one's going to be negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. So we have these points. The vertex is here in the middle at 2, negative 9. And then we've got 0, negative 5. We've got 1, 0, and 5, 0. So this will need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll have to go ahead and throw in a 6, 7. How about this needs to go down to 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So our vertex is at 2, negative 9. Y-intercept is at 0, 5, negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. X-intercepts, wait, this was a negative 1. So we've got an x-intercept here. This comes over to, this is where the vertex is. And then at five, one, two, three. So we've got x-intercepts three to the right and three to the left. That makes sense, that fits. This point is two to the left. So we actually would have another point two to the right. I'm not a computer, so it helps to have some extra points here. So this graph is going to look something like this. So there's our parabola.